Lord, be true to your covenant. Forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Do not ignore the shouts of your enemies. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, we come together on this Sunday to worship God, to bring our lives, our hearts, our minds, our bodies before him, to offer him praise and worship. As we begin this celebration, let us pause to call to mind those times that we have not lived loved and given as we are called to give love and worship. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, your spirit made us your children, confident to call you Father. Increase your spirit within us, and bring us to our promised inheritance. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is arranged with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was fire. The Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation for those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Just as shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I read in the letter of Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in hearing me, in bearing me witness, that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. 
There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all. God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for his word. Alleluia. I'm going to go ahead and see. May the Lord be with you. Read from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came forward, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and, begin, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why do you doubt? After that, they got into the boat, and the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. My brothers and sisters, I think I'm going to concentrate on the first reading. The this passage where Jesus walks on the water is one that is often spoken of, one that calls us to faith in the power of Christ. But I think our first reading is one that it might be good for us to meditate on for a time. Because in, in the Gospel reading, we have a great miracle where Jesus walks out on the water. He calls to Peter to come out and walk to him. Peter's lack of faith causes him to stumble and fall. And Jesus says, get up, let's go. Peter gets up and walks on the water with Jesus holding his hand, and they get on the boat. That's a big, a big sign, a big miracle. What I like about the first reading is it tells us not to always look for the big miracles, not to always look for the big things. It says that the prophet Elijah was told by God to come out of his cave and to look upon him. Stand on the mountain top, for the Lord will be passing by. So Elijah heard a great big storm, a wind, and he didn't do anything because he knew that wasn't Lord. There's an earthquake. Still, he doesn't do anything because he knew that wasn't the Lord. There was a big fire. Again, Elijah did nothing. But then he hears a tiny whispering sound, probably so small that he wasn't even quite sure that he was hearing it. 
but he knew that was God passing by. My dear friends, too often we spend so much time looking for the great big miracles, the big signs, that we miss a little tiny whispering voice that is God's action in our lives. Sometimes that voice may be no more than us nodding our heads hello to a complete stranger, not thinking anything, it's just habit that we do it, but for that person, that acknowledgement of their humanity may be the sign that they need in that day. It may be someone who feels that they are so useless that no one could ever notice them and wish them well. But this complete stranger walking down the street, smiling and nodding and going their way, might be the biggest incident, their biggest passing of God in this person's life. We never know. Those little acts of kindness uh, that we should all be doing. Uh, some years back, it, it was it would be called a random act of kindness, and and it was all the buzzwords we know we should all be performing these random acts of kindness. But it is true, we should. We should be saying hello, the smile, the nod, the buying someone's coffee in the Starbucks line, the letting someone in the traffic, the little things that may not mean much to us, but may be to others. We may be the hand of Christ touching their lives. When your brothers and sisters we also need to be aware of those tiny whisperings in our own lives. How do you feel if a complete stranger smiles and tells you hello on the street or in a crowded grocery store checkout line? How do you feel when you go up to the Starbucks window and the person there says, no charge, the person in front of you paid for it. How do you feel when you're having a, a very hard, stressed out day and you've been waiting to get into the traffic to go home for what seems like hours? A complete stranger stops their car and waves you out into the traffic lane. All of these things are small. They take virtually nothing from our lives to perform. However, these tiny, minuscule whisperings may be another person's salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, always look for these tiny whisperings so you can bury your face into your mantle and say, Yourself, God is passing by. My dear friends, God is always passing by. And He's usually there in these small things, not in earthquakes and balls of fire and rushing winds, but in that little tiny whisper that you can barely hear. Let us make our profession of faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now offer our prayers to the Lord, trusting in his constant mercy and love. That the church may always be a voice of God whispering in our world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our communities, that they too, by their love and concern for our brothers and sisters, especially those in need, will always be a sign of God's love in our world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that we in our lives may always be messengers of God's peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick and suffering, especially those suffering from the COVID epidemic, that they may be given healing, strength, and courage, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for our doctors, healthcare workers, and scientists who are searching for a cure, and for those who care for the sick, that they may be given strength, courage, wisdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for all the dead, that they may be received to a place of light, rest, and peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, for those who have, we have promised to pray for and those who stand most in need of our prayers, that God may grant them the graces they need most in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear these, our prayers and our petitions. Be with us and strengthen us. Enable us to always hear the tiny whisper of your voice in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, and have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we become the share of the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, rush away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. God of power, giver of the gifts we bring. Accept this offering of your church and make it the sacrament of our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, it is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. He is the Word through whom you made the universe, the Savior you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born in the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross, he put an end to death, and revealed the resurrection. And as he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And so we join the angels and the saints in proclaiming your glory as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, 
God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all that depart into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, at your body and drink your blood. I do not bring any condemnation, but help in mind and body. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. In the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we return life to us to receive. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He feeds you with the finest wheat.
Let us pray. Lord, may the Eucharist you give us bring us to salvation and keep us faithful to the light of your truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, a sister people who have fallen yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you bore your Creator, yet remained a virgin after as before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor sinners. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.